Hello everybody and welcome to Lily's Satellite Lab. We have recently finished construction of an AbSat CubeSat simulator. And this is just an overview of the parts and resources that are needed to build one of these, just so you might know what you're getting into if you choose to build one. These whiteboards here are a CubeSat simulator under construction. A friend of mine loaned these to me. These boards are manufactured by AMSAT and can be bought from their website. The middle board here is the battery board. It um, is the simplest of all the boards and requires three 1.5 volt AA rechargeable batteries. Pretty easy to come by. This is the bottom board. It's the main board. It has sensors and battery chargers and a voltage booster on it. And the top board here is the payload board. The big black headers there are for the microcontroller. Uh, here's an example of a, a typical microcontroller. One of the choices uh, is this blue pill Arduino based microcontroller. In these smaller bags are um, spare sensors. The sensors would be soldered on right there. There's a gyro and a, an environment sensor. These are examples of two of the voltage current sensors that go on the main board. This board has the blue ones on it. My friend trimmed the edges off of them because they were too big. Uh, the purple sensors are more ideal for size, but the blue ones have proved to be a little more reliable. It takes a little bit of creative engineering to get them to fit. I did not trim mine, uh, but there are several different ways to get them to fit. Other things that you will need are these big basic things like you'll have to 3D print some frame parts like the gray frame here of the satellite. The plans for those are on the GitHub website for the CubeSat simulator. Also some other big basic parts are solar panels. These small solar panels. This is one that's already got the connector soldered onto it. There's an example of one of the batteries. These are examples of the stacking headers that you need to stack the printed circuit boards so that the payload board can talk to the Raspberry Pi on the main board. There's even some really basic things like Velcro and mounting tape involved uh, for putting this together. The Velcro is for the solar panels so that they will stick nicely to the sides of the frame. Uh, these are types of connectors that you'll use for the solar panels to connect them to the main board so that they can charge the batteries. Other things that you'll need, really basic parts like Zener diodes. There's some Schottky diodes in this bag right here. You need quite a few of those. Um, just basic carbon resistors. Different values of those are needed. All of these parts are on the bill of materials that is also on GitHub. It's pretty exhaustive. Uh, most of the sources there are updated and it takes a while to get parts, but you can find them. These are more the infrastructural type parts. Here's some sockets, headers that I use for my microcontroller. These are standoffs and nuts to put all the boards together. Uh, to secure them together. Here's a good assortment of different sockets and pin headers. I used sockets for my sensors so that if anything happened with them and I needed to replace any of them they would be easy to replace. These are LEDs in several different colors. You can get a little kit like this of a couple different sizes for about 10 bucks and um, the CubeSat simulator calls for red, green, and blue LEDs just as indicators. This is a spare SMA antenna connector, and that's to in, uh, connect the antenna that's on top of the simulator right there. Connect that antenna to the main board with that connector. And this is an RTLS-DR. This is the receiver that you will plug either into a Raspberry Pi or a PC uh, to receive the telemetry or other transmissions from your CubeSat simulator. And here's the little the accompanying antenna to match the one that's on the simulator. 
So that's just a few of the basic parts you'll need. There's, a, there's quite a few others, but that's just kind of some of the things you should expect to be looking for and building this with. And a good idea is to get together with friends and go in together on parts and maybe get two or three other people that want to build this alongside you. Um, and then if you have too many other spare parts left over, you can let Lily the alien eat them because they're her favorite food. So I hope this is encouraging. Helps anybody feel a little bit more confident about wanting to build a CubeSat simulator. I wouldn't call it a first project, but it's definitely something that most builders could do pretty easily. The test procedures and the instructions online are great. And there's a lot of good help from people who've built one in the past. So happy building, enjoy, and I hope this is helpful.